Hi, Anne Murphy here from Domez Plicity. Just popping in to say I'm off to do my grocery shopping for this fortnight. It's Sunday and I don't need a lot this week because I've got um, still quite a, a lot in my pantry. Uh, lots of um, goods that will last a, lo a while. It's just the basics that I need to top up with. So come back um, shortly where I'll, short, I'll share what I, what I bought. Thank you. Bye. just got back from doing my grocery shopping and this is what I got I got um, six tomatoes a piece of pumpkins some strawberries and kiwi fruit for school lunches a dozen eggs um, baby cos lettuce now I've had people asking me in my group shop smart eat well how can I get the lettuce to last a month because um, because it's winter here we didn't, we're not going through the salad as much but we still have salad on burgers or a side salad but um, the baby cos lettuce or the gem or baby gem lettuce last a lot longer than the iceberg lettuce so um, it, this is $2.50 for two um, they're really great for san chow bao or um, other uh, main meals too um, sandwiches salads like I said burritos tacos that um, sort of thing so if you want your lettuce to last a bit longer look at buying um, the, this variety also when I've opened the packet say i um, thrown it away I just scrunch it up and then put a clip on it to um, secure it to keep it airtight and that seems to keep it lasting um, really long I've got an avocado two sweet potato more potatoes I've got a lot of uh, veggies still left from the uh, last fortnight and um, frozen veggies so I didn't need that much um, some pitted dates for baking uh, 8 litres of milk some bath soap aluminium foil um, these mini rolls I don't normally buy anything like that but they were uh, really cheap and as a special uh, lunch treat that we're just about to have um, my son's got a, a, a made over that um, for a play date, so I've just bought them. They're only a dollar eighty-seven, just as a special treat today. Stocked up on some more frozen veg. This is a great mix for everything: soups, fried rice, anywhere where you need um, lots of um, small veggies. And it's only a dollar sixty for um, a kilo, I think it is. Um, I always like to have these, yeah, kilo of veggies. So, and they're really fresh and really nice. There's broccoli stalks in there, carrots, potato, peas, um, and they're really good. I've got corn kernels. I have been buying um, tinned corn, but uh, when you sometimes you don't need the whole can, and it's cheaper to buy the larger cans, but um, you just have to store them and remember to use them within a day or so, otherwise they go a bit slimy. So I've gone back to buying the frozen, then I can just use as much um, as I need. I got coffee, sugar, bread rolls for um, a burger night, our usual frozen oven chips just for the quick nights, uh, quick meal nights, easy weekend meal nights, spreadable butter. I'm trying these pitted cherries, frozen pitted cherries. They were only $4 for uh, 500 grams, so at $8 a kilo, still um, pretty good. It's not cherry season here in Australia yet, but um you know you don't get them very often for under eight dollars a kilo so they were a good buy for four dollars i thought good for baking and um, breakfasts and um, anything else the fish white fish fillets frozen fish fillets i normally get toilet paper uh, i had been buying the um, vanilla uh, greek style yogurt in this brand farmers union the last couple of fortnights but it just restricts um, how I use the vanilla flavoured one. So I've gone back to buying the plain because then I can use the plain in both sweet and savoury dishes. And I can just add a bit of vanilla to my um, breakfast if I have yogurt for breakfast. My usual grated cheese, butter for baking, block cheese. Now I didn't really need to buy any meat. I had just um, wanted to buy beef mince and at $9 for a kilo um, it's not too bad 
but I saw these couple of markdowns and you know what it's like when you do see a good markdown uh, you should grab it there were a few other ones there but they still weren't very good value for money but at 50% off um, these thin sizzle steaks um, were a good buy I thought you could have them on a steak sandwich or a stir fry um, $2.84 for these um, chicken wings I think there's a kilo there of chicken wings for $2.84 uh, my usual budget bacon for a kilo and um, the ham that we normally have that I keep in the freezer for sandwiches and then this was a special treat um, for our lunch today because my son's got a, a made over for a play date we don't normally buy those sorts of things so it did um, boost the groceries up slightly from what I would um, normally normally um, have come to today but still relatively good so the total for my $150 budget for this fortnight is $151.33 so just over so $8 for those um, party pies and sausage rolls nearly $2 for those um, chocolate mini rolls so that's $10 that um, I could have put aside for next week to top up with milk or fruit and veg if I needed it. And then these meat specials, I got $6 and $2.84, so it's an extra uh, $9. So looking at nearly $20 that I um, didn't really have to spend today, but you know, um, we don't, it's you know, $8 and $2 for these little treats is a lot cheaper than buying takeaway or. Uh, just on a Sunday just to have a special treat so that's my um, grocery shopping for this fortnight we'll see how long the milk lasts but that's about the only thing that um, we might need to top up on next week but otherwise join me in my Facebook group shop smart eat well to see how I cook and how I use all of these ingredients with what I've already got in my pantry fridge and freezer and how I can manage to stick to $150 a fortnight. Thank you. Bye.